the Wnt pathway in a normal and in a tumor cell, the inactive Wnt pathway in a normal cell. In most normal cells, the Wnt pathway is inactive. In the cytosol, the so-called destruction complex is formed from the proteins beta-catenin, axin, APC, GSK3-beta, CK1-alpha, and others. The ubiquitin ligase beta-TRCP is able to bind to beta-catenin and to transfer short ubiquitin peptides to beta-catenin. Ubiquitinated beta-catenin is bound and destroyed by a complex of proteases, the so-called proteasome. Thus, a low level of cellular beta-catenin is achieved. In the nucleus, a transcription factor of the TCF-LEF family together with other proteins, such as Groucho, binds to DNA and inhibits gene expression. Activation of the Wnt pathway in a normal cell By binding of the extracellular factor Wnt to the membrane receptor frizzled, or FZD, and to its co-receptor, LRP, the Wnt pathway is activated. Binding leads to activation of the cytosolic protein disheveled, abbreviated DVL. DVL induces dissociation of the destruction complex. Because beta-catenin is no longer modified by ubiquitin peptides, it is not destroyed. Since the supply of beta-catenin continues, the level of beta-catenin rises, first in the cytosol and later also in the nucleus. In the nucleus, beta-catenin, together with other proteins, binds to the TCF-LEF transcription factor, which changes from a transcriptional repressor into an activator. TCF-LEF itself activates an RNA polymerase, which induces gene transcription. Examples of important genes induced by the active Wnt pathway are genes coding for CMYK and cyclin D1. The activated Wnt pathway in a tumor cell. In tumor cells, the Wnt pathway may be activated in the absence of the Wnt signal. Most often, a gene that codes for a protein of the destruction complex carries a mutation. As a consequence, the complex disintegrates and can no longer tag beta-catenin for destruction. The level of beta-catenin increases. This situation reflects the situation in a normal cell when the pathway is activated by a Wnt factor. In the nucleus, beta-catenin activates the TCF-LEF transcription factor. Just like in a normal cell after activation by a Wnt factor, TCF-LEF activates an RNA polymerase, which starts transcription of several genes, for example, genes encoding CMYK and cyclin D1. Additionally, the Wnt pathway in a tumor cell can also be activated inappropriately by a Wnt signal.